My name is Melen Nyabuto, a training nematologist based in Isipe, Kenya. And today I'm delighted to share with you my journey in dealing with a potato pest called potato cyst nematodes. In 2021, as a fresh nematology intern, we were selected to go for a disease survey in farms somewhere in central province, Kenya. And that's where I met Mwangi. Mwangi is a potato farmer. He delights in the fact that his potatoes can be presented in homesteads, whether in the morning as baked potatoes, or at lunchtime as mokimo with stew, or even the fact that they are able to be supplied to food chains for further processing. But on this day, it was not the case. Mwangi was so sad and he was worried as he led us to his farm where his potato crops were yellowing and dying. He went on to explain that this has been happening for the past two seasons. And as a result, he has been losing a lot of money. Silently, we thought, this is it, potato cyst nematodes. But we could not draw a conclusion yet we had to go back to the lab and confirm the presence of this pest in Mwangi's farm. So we went about Mwangi's farm, took some soil samples, and we came back with the soil into the lab. In the lab, I was tasked with screening this soil. And at the end of the day, Mwangi's farm was truly infested with these worms. I remember being moved to join any research studies that were fighting against this pest. Alongside our lead scientist, Dr. Danny Coyne, I joined a research study that was ongoing that involved testing of different potato varieties against the infestation of these worms. We took these potato varieties, we planted them in pots, and also planted them in the farms where these worms were present. At the end of the day, we wanted to see whether are these potato varieties performing better or are they being infected by the same, same worms. But at the end of the study, we were so delighted. They were doing better and they were infected less and they were able to manage the number of worms in the soil. But this was not yet our jubilation moment. We had to take them to the farmer to see whether they liked the taste and whether they cook well as compared to the varieties that are in the market. And at the end of the exercise, the farmers were so happy. They exclaimed and requested for these varieties, but we could not do that yet. We had to submit them to the potato council where they get registered and released. Currently, we are awaiting for their release. We hope that when they are released, farmers like Mwangi will be able to be restored back their hope and joy. Thank you. <laughs>